In this video, we're going to show an example of using GeoGebra for translations in transformation geometry. So up here, I'm going to give us our title and text, so we'll be concentrating on translations. And in a translation, we literally move an object to create a new image and a new position. The orientation of the object doesn't change, just the position does. So in this example, what we're going to do is we're going to insert a picture. We're going to insert it relevant to our coordinate axis here. And then we're going to translate that using what's called a vector. So first of all, I'm going to locate the position of where I want to put my image. So I'm going to insert a number of points, three points. And I shall go with the positions here, here, and here automatically labeled A, B and C and I'm just going to ensure that they are fixed to grid. What I want to do now is I want to insert in my object or the image of my object. So again under our auxiliary tools here it could be in tools and we can go with general tools or no sorry it is in the uh, special object tools. We have our shortcut up here instead of A, B, C which is our text click that drop down menu and we want to insert an image. So click on the position then, like it says, click on the graphics view or on point to specify its position. So I want to specify the bottom left hand corner to be at point A. I'm going to bring in my image here, the rugby ball, and I'm going to open that up. Now you can see the image is larger than what we have given it, given the space and for it in A, B and C. So what you want to do to correct that to the points we have given, right click on the image, object properties, Corner 1 is set to position A here, which is what we want. But we want to correctly position corner B to the top right, or the top left, I should say, and corner C to the bottom right. So go to corner 2, which is our bottom right here. We want that to be C, and we want corner 4 to be exactly at B, like so. And we can click to close that. Our settings are defaulted. So at the moment now, what we have is we have A, C, A, B, and C. Okay, it's dictated the position of our image. Like so. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to add a further point. I'm going to add a point here called point D, and I'm just going to create a frame around that picture. So using segment between two points, I'm just going to create a frame around that picture. Give the frame in black with the font. We could change our font color up here, okay, in the line style and type if we wish, but I'm just going to leave that for now. So I'm going to escape off that, and that there is my, that is my object. What I want to do with the purpose of this exercise is I want to translate that object to a new position. So in order to do that, you need to dictate and decide where your position will be. So what I'm going to do is I would like if I'm going to say, I'm going to plot a new point down here. So I won't even name the point, but I want, I want this corner. We'll go, with, we'll go with corner C. No, firstly, we'll go with corner A to project that down. I want corner A to finish up down here. So that quarter point there is 8 minus 1. If I want that to be at 8 minus 1, then I must, okay, create a line that goes from 3 so it has to move over 5 and has to drop down by 1, 2, 3, 4. So I would have to create a vector that moves over 5 and drops down 4 in order for point A to end up over here at 8 minus 1. So we want it to move over 5 units and down 4 units. So in order to do that, I'm going to create a vector which does that. And just move that slightly for ourselves now. And to create a vector, it's in our options here. A vector is just a directional arrow. So it can be in line tools. And you can, a vector between two points or a vector from a point. So in order to do that, I need to first instigate and start off with a point. So I go back to my point option. And I'm going to create a point for my origin, 0, 0. It's known as your origin. And I want to move over 5. And I want to go down 4. Move over 5 and down 4. I might just move this graphic through so it will show it for us. So that's over 5. And I want to go down 4 from my other point. Let's get point, new point, and down 4. 
So I'll have a point from E to F like so. Then what I want to do, I want to go tools, and I want to go line tools, the vector between two points. So between my point E and F, I want to create a vector. So my vector style, I have the color of it, can change here. I'm going to leave it on a full line. I'm going to bring it down half thickness, and I'm going to put it in, in this font color, bright green. And I'm going to go with my vector from here to point F, like so. This here is my vector, E to N. That is the direction from which I'm going to translate this image, point A, point C, point B and D. They are all going to be translated exactly the same as this vector. The distance and angle from E to F, I'm going to translate that image down to its new position here, giving me my translation. Okay, we'll escape off that. What we're going to do now is we need to go to our transformation tools. Okay, so in our transformation tools, we can have a look at our options for translations. We go down here to our second last option. We have translate an object by a vector. So that is the object we want to select. So firstly, I'm going to bring around the four points, A, B, C, and D. So I will just select my point A and translate it by that vector. And you can see that A comes down here to position, okay, 9 minus 1. We can do the same with C, the same with D, and the same with corner B. The edges around, I shall bring them first. I'll just bring around the edges for my lines. These will complete the grid that will form around the rugby ball. Like so. What we could have also shown is they are all parallel to this direction line. So we should show that before I put in my image. So what do I want to do? I want to bring a parallel line to a point. So select a point and a parallel line. So I want to bring two point A parallel to EF here, which is my direction. That's the direction of my translation. I'm going to select the type first of all. I'll leave it as a full line. I'm going to give the color in this just we'll give it a light light yellow. Like so. So there's my point. That's my line. You can see it projected parallel to that. And it goes straight through A1 like so. Point C, bring that through. Point B, we can just select our directional line every time. Or B, it could be going exactly parallel to that. Each and every one of them are exactly parallel. The only thing we're left to do is bring down the main image, which is our rugby ball, into our frame. And we could have brought that down at the start, but it's just nice to show it exactly there at the end. Before I do that, I'm going to deselect my grid. I'm going to deselect my axis. What I can show is tools, transformation tools, translate an object by a vector. I'm going to bring my object, which is my picture, my vector, and I'll get it translated to its new position, like so. That's to say, again, that is a translation. Moving an object to create a new image. The image does not change, only its position. The orientation of the image remains the exact same, it's just the position. And similarly, if we want to establish the relationships of translations, all our points are brought down parallel to each other and the exact same distance. So the distance between E and F, which is determined by our vector, which is the, where we want to move our position A to A1, that was determined by the length of this line. B moves the exact same length and at the exact same angle as our original vector. So if we change that, I can rotate point F around. All my lines go exactly the same. They change exactly in relation to that. So wherever I decide to put my my vector EF, my directional line for my translation, A will come down to A2. The position it will not change. The principle is the same, and you can see that all our yellow lines they are all remaining okay exactly parallel to each other as we rotate that around. So it could be horizontal like so. Could be slightly inclined, it could be vertical like so, or indeed the whole way around, opposite direction. And that is the principle of a translation. So using a directional arrow, you translate a point to a new position, it goes at the exact same angle you wish, and the exact same length, and it's the same for each and every point. And that is how we create a translation using GeoGebra.